the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Grace and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. My dear sisters and brothers, there is something beautiful about standing at the altar. When we stand at the altar, we can afford to be what we are. We can afford to tell God what we want to say. We need not put on a mask to be accepted. We need not justify ourselves to be understood by our God. Out in the world, we need to justify ourselves. We need to defend what we did. We need to be careful in what we say because we could be rejected and that's very painful. But the one love, the one love that never takes offense at our sinfulness, at the wrong attitudes of our life is God, is God's love. Let us keep our hands open in front of us. Let us tell God what is bothering us at this moment. Let's tell God what we feel sad about. Let's tell God whatever sin is burdening us. Perhaps, as St. Paul said, we wanted to be good, but we were not able to be good. We wanted to love, we wanted to forgive, we wanted to do good to others, but we ended up doing the wrong, the bad, and we feel burdened, we feel guilty. Let's tell God, whatever makes us sad at this moment, he will not be offended at what we did, at what we said. He will accept us as we are. And he will forgive us. And he will change us. And he will fill us with his love. Let's pause for a moment and tell Jesus everything that makes us sad and bitter at this moment. Jesus, we loved people but they rejected us and we feel very sad you will never reject us O oh God Lord have mercy Christ Jesus we trusted people but they failed us and you will never fail us you, are, you will be there for us at every moment Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, we counted on people, but they let us down and we are very insecure. But you will never let us down. Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to the Father. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to the Father. To Him we glory forever, to Him we glory forever. Hallelujah, Amen. Hallelujah, Amen. Hallelujah, Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to the Son of God. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to the Son of God. To Him we glory forever. To Glory forever, hallelujah, 
Through the Paschal Mysteries, the gates of mercy should stand open for your faithful. Look upon us and have mercy, that as we follow by your gift the way you desire for us, so may we never stray from the paths of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. They chose seven men full of the Holy Spirit. First reading, a reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 6, verses 1 to 7. Now in these days, when the disciples were increasing in number, the Hellenists murmured against the Hebrews because their widows were neglected in the daily distribution. And the twelve summoned the body of the disciples and said, It is not right that we should give up preaching the word of God to serve tables. Therefore, brethren, pick out from among you seven men of good repute, full of the spirit and of wisdom, whom we may appoint to this duty. But we will devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. And what they said pleased the whole multitude. And they chose Stephen, a man of faith and of the Holy Spirit, and Philip and Prochorus, and Nicanor, and Timon, and Prominus and Nicholas, a proselyte of Antioch. These they said before the apostles, and they prayed and laid their hands upon them. And the word of God increased, and the number of the disciples multiplied greatly in Jerusalem, and a great many of the priests were obedient to the faith. This is the word of the Lord. Your response is, May your love be upon us, O Lord, and as we place all our hope in you. Please repeat. May your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place our hope in you. Ring out your joy to the Lord, O you just for praise, is fitting for loyal hearts. Give thanks to the Lord upon the harp, with a ten-string lute, sing him songs. A response, may your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you. For the word of the Lord is faithful, and all his words to be trusted. The Lord loves justice and right, and fills the earth with his love. Your response, may your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you. The Lord looks on those who revere him, on those who hope in his love to rescue the souls from death, to keep them alive and for mine. Your response, may your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you. Kindly stand for the acclamation. Hallelujah, tell you whatever you ask in prayer believe that you receive it and you will hallelujah 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 The Lord
Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Chapter 9 verses 1 to 8. Jesus entered a boat and made the crossing and came into his own town. And there people brought to him a paralytic lying on a stretcher. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Courage, my son, your sins are forgiven. At that, some scribes said to themselves, This man is blaspheming. Jesus knew what they were thinking and said, Why do you harbor evil thoughts? Which is easier to say your sins are forgiven or to say rise and walk. But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He then said to the paralytic, rise, pick up your stretcher and go home. He rose and went home. When the crowds saw this, they were struck with awe and glorified God, who had given such authority to human beings. The Gospel of the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, this bread and wine. Take our hearts and make them thine. Take our world and our anxiety. Give us life and liberty. Change this bread into your body and this wine into your blood. Change our lives, make us united, Lord, to spread the love of Christ the Lord. Lord, accept this bread and wine. Take our hearts and make them die. Take our work and our anxiety. Give us life and liberty. Change this bread into your body and this life into your blood change our lives make us united Lord to spread the love of Christ the Lord pray brethren that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father May, May the Lord, Lord accept, accept the this sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Sanctify graciously these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right, right and, and just. just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy through your beloved son Jesus Christ. Your word through whom you made all things whom you send as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you our holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest 
the glory of the resurrection and so with the angels and all the saints we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim Therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread When we drink this cup We proclaim your death Lord Jesus, until you come, until you come in glory. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and ministered to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity Together with Francis, our Pope, Antony, Sami, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal 
life and may praise and glorify you through your son Jesus Christ through him and with him and in him O God Almighty Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, when we call God Abba, Father, we need to understand that is a faith in what Jesus taught us. That God for every one of us is our dear Father, that we are precious to Him. How precious are we to God? We're so precious to God that He sent His only Son to die, that we may not perish in the sin and the pain that we bring upon ourselves. So much am I loved. As St. Paul said, it is for me that Jesus offered himself that I may be saved, that I may live forever. With that confidence firm in our hearts, let's all raise our hands up to him and pray in the words our Savior taught us. Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. From thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory. For thine is the kingdom, the power and Jesus Christ who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you and with your spirit. Let's offer each other a sign of peace and love. takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I'm, I'm not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, 
But only, but only say, say the, the word, word, and my, my soul shall, shall be healed. soul stand up for the final prayer. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's go in the peace and joy of the Lord. Thanks be to God.